All right, so I want to make a few changes to the function that I did here. So I guess the biggest change from the perspective of using it is going to be that I want to have two options in this. I want the function to be able to return the match itself, but I also want this function to be able to return the position of the match. So for example, right over here, when we look for a match for this, it returns the match, it says bananas. But I also want an option so that instead of bananas, it would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So basically give you the position number eight. So let's go about those changes. First, I want to actually change the actual name of the function in sheets. So I'm just gonna call it find similar text. So one thing I'm gonna have to do now, I'm gonna have to remove this filter out of here because since we're gonna find a position, I can't just remove those, which is fine. We'll handle that in a different way. We'll also probably modify this to also handle row data instead of just handling column data in just a second. So we'll change this part too. But for now, let's leave it as is. So what I'll do, I'll go to my class here so when we pass this phrase list, we go here and do this map function and we have the phrase. And as we do this, we basically just give this match. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna add a second parameter here to our map, which will basically be the phrase and I, the index. And that basically goes from zero and it keeps going up. So when I get this, I'm going to add that position here. And as we add that position, that should store the position. It's not gonna be the row number like we want in our spreadsheet because it's gonna start from zero, but I don't want to modify it here because we're working with JavaScript here. So I want to keep it as zero index here, that's fine. So here I want to probably just handle that empty text situation too. So I'll just do a quick check on top here and say if that phrase is null basically, or that phrase equals blank. So in both of those cases, we're going to want to just return basically an object and it's gonna be something like this. So we'll say if the phrase is null, score is null and position is, I guess the position will be the position. So this is good. We probably also want to set that position here. So by default, we'll have it as null. And then if we find the best match, we'll set it to our current match here, which is gonna have that position in it. So I think that should work. So a couple of other things to think about is what should happen if the actual data in a cell is a date or it's a number. So I think we're just gonna look at text only. So let's also add that here. We're gonna say if the type of that phrase equals string, actually, if it's not a string. So if it's null, it's blank text, or if it's not a string, let's just return no match. Otherwise, we're gonna do our search. So now let's go to the other side and see how we're gonna use this. So now we should be able to hopefully utilize this position. So what we'll do, we'll add another argument here. And we'll call this return type. And again, we'll just set a default on this text. And basically what we'll do, let's remove this console log, we'll say, if that return type equals text, then we want to return this. The other one, 
we'll have a second type. If the return type is position, then this is gonna have that position and we need to add one to match row numbers in our spreadsheet here. So if it's none of these, then we'll just return null. All right, so first let's go check if this whole thing still works. So I'm gonna go grab this function name, go back here, and I just changed the name of the function, so I have to update this. And I'm gonna drag it down. Seems to work, let's also do it here. Let's get rid of this. And the same thing here, let's remove this and replace it with a new name. Okay, so let's actually go back here and change this to be this argument return type position. And see now it's gonna give us position hopefully, but let's take a look, that doesn't seem to be correct. So this says position one, this says position one. Okay, so what seems to happen now if basically we get no match, we still return that position one. So let's go fix that. So that would be this thing right here that adds one, this is probably null and we add one, we get what we get. So let's add a check here. If that best match dot phrase is not equal to null, then we want to return this. So let's go back and take a look. That's better. So basically now these get nothing. This gives us position one. So potatoes, that's the first one in this list. Tomato is the second one in this list. And then banana match is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this could be useful if you're trying to do some sort of like, if you had some other values here. So now you could use it as like index match. So you could use index function together with this number to get those. So now we can do this or we can either skip this or change this to text, which will basically just return the word instead of returning the position. All right, so finally, let's just clean up a couple of things. So first, let's just look at this. I think I had some typos here. So this phrase list is currently column only. So why don't we just do a range and we'll change that in our function in just a second. Now we did add an extra argument here. So that parameter will be this return type. So that makes it a little cleaner. Now, before I change this, I want to also go to our main function here and let's just change this to const and let's also just change all the vars here. This should be const probably. This should be let. What is this? Yeah, I don't think we're changing that. So this could be const. Uh, what does this mean? It's probably being discontinued. So maybe we should use something else here. For now, that's fine. Match. So that's let probably here. This is let here. This is const again. What about this count? I think that's const. Okay, probably worth to change this 
substring to a different function. I'll have to look at JavaScript documentation to see what's happening with it. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. So now let's go back finally and change this. So currently it's only going to work when we select this column of data, right? But if these values are in rows, that's not going to work. So if I just grab this, copy and paste it here and just change this range to be basically this. Let's make it absolute reference. Let's drag it so it doesn't work. It works for potatoes because potatoes is the first one. So what we'll do here when we get this phrase list, we want to basically just convert it to a regular list. And for that, instead of doing this map, we would just do this. We're going to flatten that array pretty much. Let's go take a look. Let's just refresh to make sure it's not. Maybe it was. I think I just had to refresh it. So see, it seems to work now here. And it seems to work here too. Good. I want to also do a quick check before I do this to make sure that it's not a range that's selected. It's just a row or a column. So what we'll do, we'll do if that phrase list. So it either has to be one row or one column, which means either the length of the whole thing has to be one or the length of the first row or the first column, whatever you want to call it, has to be one, one of these things. It's either that or this. So we'll say if it's neither one of these things, then we want to basically return an error. Something like this. So let's just test this to make sure this actually works the way it should. So I'm going to go back. This still seems to work as it did before. Now let's try to do this. What if instead of selecting this, I select this. That didn't work. I'm going to refresh this again just to make sure it's not a refresh problem. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's just go back and see what I did. I forgot to do equals one. So let's go back and take a look. There it is. We got an error and see it says range must be a single column or row. Okay. So now if we go back and modify this to just be this, then it should work as you can see it does. And then it should also not work if we go to this one and instead of this single row, we select something like this. It should give us that same error. Good. And then finally, if we want to return position here, we should be able to do that. Okay, there we go. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.